another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince. I'm a disabled armor veteran. And today I want to talk about the eight things you didn't know about the veteran archives. The eight things you didn't know about the veteran archives. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And you can find more content from Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Reddit for more content. And if you're a veteran and would love to share your story or resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. Now that I've gotten out out of the way, let's get into this topic, man. So today, again, we are talking about the eight things you don't know about the veteran archives. Right quick, I'm about to let y'all see this article that I'm actually going to read from. And I thought it was pretty cool to read what Miss Julia Nix wrote. She wrote, eight things that veterans didn't know about the veteran archives. And I'm going to be honest to you, I didn't know much about it until I read this article. So the first thing she talked about, they could connect you with your own records. So if you are trying to get your own records, veterans, you can use the veteran archives to do so. It says that it's one of the most important functions of the NARA is providing discharged military members with their own personal records. All men and women who have been discharged from service will find their personal files in the NARA. This is the best place to look if you need your official military personnel file, also known as OMPF, or your DD Form 214 Certificate of Release and Discharge from Active Duty. Recent military records needed to be requested by veterans and their next of kin through the National Archives EVET Rec system. Obtaining these important documents can help you receive important public service for veterans and may be useful in historic and genealogical research. So if you're trying to get your records and I know a lot of y'all out there trying to get it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to post in the bottom of the description, this article so that you can go in here. Um, I'm going to try to also put some of the links in there so that you can go directly um, to these links so that you can get your records. Because I know most veterans, you know, especially um, the Vietnam veterans have been having a hard time retrieving their records. And I'm pretty sure, you know, You can go ahead and find your records if you don't know where to go. Also, number two was they can help you recover medals and awards. Now, I think this right here is one of the biggest things that I've read a lot of veterans in different groups talk about. They were asking how could they recover their um, medals and awards? Where here it is. You can recover your medals and awards. It says a veterans medal and awards tell a story. Often one of heroism and sacrifice. If you or your loved ones have lost or never received military awards or decorations you earned during your service, the Veterans Service Record can help you obtain them through the National Personal Record Center. Though the center does not issue service medals, only the military itself can do that. It can help you replace um, instruments of medals decorations and awards with instructions and documents to help you obtain the proper request form. Veterans next to kin and the general public when looking for these um, issued before 1957 can begin the replacement process through this service. So when you're looking for your um, awards and stuff that were issued before 1957, They say that you can use this process to obtain those records. So I know there are a lot of Vietnam veterans and people who got out back in the days that didn't get the help that they need. Well, you can go to the National Personal Record Center and get your awards and your medals. Three, you can visit in person. Ever wanted to see the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution of the Bill of Rights in its original forms? The National Archive housed all the Charter of Freedom in a display at its Washington, D.C. facility. Veterans and civilians alike may appreciate special exhibits held at the National Archives, including Remembering Vietnam and other prominent war displays. You can also visit various federal record centers throughout the country in Atlanta, 
Boston, Chicago, and other cities. These centers are excellent resources for these, I mean, for those conducting genealogical or historical research. Four, they house famous records. It should come to no surprise, but veteran service records includes documents, photos, and information about many veterans from everyday soldiers to highly decorated war heroes. You can browse around the archives online and discover fascinating relics of American history, like letters from George, um, General George Washington or his last will and testament, if you're feeling curious, and real old photos of General G.S. Patton. George S. Patton. If you're fascinated with the nitty gritty of military history, you will be entertained for hours uncovering records of famous military greats. Five, they contain thousands of photos. Although the archives primarily house administrative documents, they also obtain many incredible military photos that can be um, of interest for your research project or simply due to personal curiosity. You can explore the archives online to see higher revolution images from important conflicts. When you're searching the archives, you can filter file types by web page, documents, images, images, and videos to help you zero in on the type of media you're looking for. As an added bonus, many of these photos come with no access or use restrictions, so you can freely produce them in your work. So that's something else cool. I didn't know that they did that. Number six, they contain all kinds of documents. If you want to know something specific about a person's military career, it's a good idea to start with the National Archives. They include a wide range of military personnel records, which can help you find information on enlisting, enlistment, duty stations and assignments, training, qualifications, awards, medals, emergency data, discharge papers, and more. The Military Medical and Health Record Department includes documents covering outpatient dental mental health treatment that former military members receive while in service. So this right here is one of the things that I think is very important for a lot of veterans who are trying to, you know, um, fight for their disability. Um, this is where you can go to get that lost paperwork that you've been trying to get track of so that you can, you know, give it to your doctor or you can make sure that you upload it with your um, compensation and um, pension claims. This is where you can go get the information from if you lost it. Number seven, they store records of pension payments. Veterans, as well as their widows and family members, may be entitled to pension payments for service. Not only are these documents important for those who believe they may be entitled to pension payments, they are also valuable for those conducting important family research. Along with these payment records, there may be supporting documents such as detailed narratives regarding military service, marriage certificates, birth certificates, death certificates, family letters, and more. If you're conducting family research of any sort, be sure to start with military pension records. So they house your military pension payments and records. And number eight, they store draft records. Whether you are particular, um, you have a particular um, family member with a fascinating history, or you just curious about how certain military heroes rose to prominence, it could be fascinating to find draft records in the archives. Browsing this selective service records, you may be able to obtain copies of draft registration cards and classifications, um, histories throughout the NARA for a fee. Historians often wish to obtain these records to aid their research, as they may include information such as names, residence, birth, days, mailing address, employers, and much more. So that's the eight interesting facts about the veteran archives that I wanted to share with you because I thought it was pretty cool to find out those interest, those eight interesting facts, especially for you veterans out there who are trying to um, track down your medical records. And it, it, I mean, I think that's very important to find out and know. So I'm going to, um, actually put this link again in the description so that you can, you know, track down those records and you can, you know, get this ball on um, rolling, um, on your behalf so that, you know, you can obtain the benefits that you deserve for you and for your family. 
And the one thing I always want to say to you before I close out and say vet talk out is never give up, never throw in the towel, never quit, man. Remember our training. Remember everything we've been through. And when you think about all those things, don't give up on the benefits process. Don't give up and think that, well, I've been waiting for years and I haven't heard nothing. Don't give up. I'm telling you, because it's worth the fight. This has been another episode with your boy, brother Vince, for Vet Talk. As always, Vet Talk out.